My character is Sadiq or Sid for short, and he's the vaguely irascible, quite sarky uh, manager, stroke owner of uh, the Clachig Inn, um, where the romantic leads come to stay and have their adventure. That's a fun part. The, I would say the character is similar to Naveed, but I mean, Naveed in Still Game is very, very sarky, and I'm not really that way. I'm a bit more of a people pleaser. Whereas I think the thing with Naveed is he, he has the power in his shop to be the hell, what the hell he likes. And Sid's the same here. This is his domain. This is his territory. So it's like under his roof, it's his rules sort of thing. So he's just quite kind of, uh, oh, aye, very good sort of thing. Uh, which I'm, I'm not really like that at all. So it's, people pleaser. Yeah, yeah. But then it's fun as well as an actor to play something that you're not. You know, it's you, to inhabit someone else is, is good fun. So yeah. Um, well, Ryan Hendrick, uh, the writer-director, got in touch. He'd met me at the Scottish BAFTAs a few years ago, and he'd, um, he'd, he'd said, oh, do you fancy doing... Uh, uh, and I can't remember if it was specifically this or something else. I just like the cut of his jib. Uh, you know, you could just tell when someone's on it, and he's very driven and very focused and just a nice guy. And um, I've always said that I want to work with people that I think I might work with again, or just that I think... I, it was, because I have a certain status in Scotland, I, I know that maybe I, it can it can lend power to project. Um, I, I really, that sounds really unScottish saying that, but it's I, w I want to be able to sort of like recycle my bizarre status into you know to help other people. And Ryan's one of those people, you know. And you've, and also he'd, he'd written a part for me, so I'm flattered. And then he says, who else is involved? It's Sylvester McCoy. It's Fraser Hines. Uh, and just actually just even listen to their stories. I mean, we were just chatting on the sofa earlier on about how they'd met Laurence Olivier and they'd worked with this and that and met Princess Anne and great, great stories and they worked with everyone. Um, and the scene we just did now, there's they're, they're a couple of old guys that are sort of like fixtures in the, in the, in the bar. And it's like, you know, there's a line actually in the film where they say they've been friends for 62 and a half years. And you could imagine that Fraser and Sylvester had been friends, they, they've just got this, Chemistry. I mean, I don't actually know how much work they've done together. They've both got a Doctor Who connection, but they, they're, they're pals, and it totally, it totally, they sell it on screen as well. It's, it's a joy to watch them work together. It is the first Scottish Christmas romantic comedy. Um, I'm just trying to think of how many Scottish romantic comedies there have been. Funnily enough, we've got Claire Grogan on set, who's in Gregory's Girl, right? Which is one of the best just films ever made, let alone romantic comedies, and. Four Weddings and a Funeral had Scottish connections. Um, but I'm struggling to think in the last five, ten years of a Scottish romantic comedy. And I think when a romantic comedy's done well, it's, you know, when Harry Met Sally, Four Weddings and a Funeral, Gregory's Girl, it, it's, it, it's a hard thing to get right, but when you get it right, it's brilliant. And if Ryan can do as good a job directing as writing, then it's a, a must-see.